Hello everyone, Ashley Pickle coming to you from the conclusion of the week 16 Dave Campbell's Texas football featured game of the week. This time, heading back up to watch some big boy action um, as it was a 5A Division 2 Region 2 matchup between the second seed out of District 8, 5A Division 2, the North Forney Falcons, and the uh, third seed out of 7 5A Division 2 in the Denison Yellow Jackets. Uh, with a final score of 32 to 25, the North Forney Falcons are moving on to the area round to take on Alito. Um, they were extremely pumped after the game. This was the first time that either of these teams had been in the playoffs since 2017. So, uh, you know, some some programs that are so excited to to be here in what a lot of coaches consider the second half of their season or the second season as a whole, and. When we going into this game, if you would have told me that the first half would have looked like it did, where it was an absolute offensive struggle, I would have been hesitant to agree with you. You you look on the side of Denison and you have uh, Jadarian Price, obviously the superstar running back that has 20 plus D1. I promise I'm not in trouble. They're just, you know, looking around the premise. <laughs> um, anyway, but they... Uh, Jadarian Price, Jadarian Price, excuse me, and he's just a phenomenal superstar athlete. And then you look on the side for North Forney, and you've got Cam Allen, the wide receiver. You've got Ty Collins, the running back. Jacob Acuna, the quarterback. You're thinking, okay, the defenses are going to have their work cut out for them, undoubtedly so. Halftime, 7-3. to three. North Forney was up. They didn't score until pretty late in the second quarter. Finally able to get something going for a majority of the first half. It was 3 nothing Denison on a field goal. Um, so when I talked to Coach Jackson at halftime, he told me, he goes, that might have been the worst half of off like of our that our offense has played all year long. We had to get those guys going. But just defenses, both defenses playing spectacular a big credit to Denison's defense in the first half because North Forney's offensive line is aver averages a weight of 310 pounds averages and so the coach said he goes you know by the second half a lot of teams this year have just really really struggled stopping our offense because you get tired of 320 pounds hitting you every single play. And so the Denison defense played absolutely spectacular in the first half. And then the second half came along. And you can tell that Coach uh, Randy Jackson was able to kick that Forney offense into gear, coming out and scoring with just a minute off the clock, a 71-yard dime from Jacob Acuna to Cam Allen uh, to to get them up and get them going. Then you have a, a couple plays later, or the series later, Denison on a three and out, and then they go to punt the ball, a high snap rolled into the back of the end zone, and recovered for a touchdown, so you're up two scores at that point, and it really kind of continued on since then, but Denison put up a heck of a fight, really br bringing it back within a one-score game with five minutes left. Uh, they finally got a touchdown from Jadarian Price. He got the two-point conversion to bring that within seven, and then you get down to the final uh, minutes of the game here and they North Forney is on the 14 yard line fumbles the ball Denison recovers it and they've got they've got time to sit there and tie up this ball game you know right after they get that big touchdown from Jadarian um, then then they have the opportunity it was a fourth and one on the four yard line and that North Forney defense showed how resilient it was going to play tonight by stopping them on fourth and one at the four yard line and then after that North Forney got the ball back and just set sail with it um, but a game where anytime it looked like it was about to really get out of hand, Denison kept fighting. Um, big, big credit. And let me make sure I'm saying his name right here. Um, Asa Osborne, the senior running, or yes, a senior running back also for Denison. Unbelievable one-two punch, obviously, with you have Jadarian, but Asa, Asa had an unbelievable game tonight as well. He deserves some big, big credit, you know, maybe falling in the shadows to Jadarian a little bit from people who don't get to specifically watch Denison all the time. But just a great play 
um, an entirely good game, an exciting game, nonetheless, like I said, right when it looked like they were fixing to run away from it, there they came, but congratulations to the North Forney Falcons, they will continue on, and like I said earlier in the video, they will be going to take on Alito, and you know what, at this point in the playoffs, that's what you want, you want to take on a perennial powerhouse, and just, like Coach said, told me after the game, he goes, you want to win that first game because after that, any team can get on a hot streak. So best of luck to the Falcons. Um, and yeah, looks like a bunch of other crazy scores. Remember, we will be back on Monday. That will be our last show of the week before we head on to AT&T Stadium for some small school playoffs, for some small school state action. All right, guys, see you later. We will see you on Monday. Bye-bye.